Filipino black folks and what we'll do is we'll, we'll go down in size here a little bit but what's got me in a perplexing is this really shouldn't be earth down here guys okay? Jupiter there the sun off to the right we'll come down in the size a little bit and then what I was thinking maybe this could possibly be earth here but then way up high you know because no matter what this is Earth there, directly across from and a little high on Jupiter from H12A. Okay, H12A is a little bit farther back than what we got here for. Um, so it's very interesting. Is uh, the hugeness, of course, closer to the satellite, the atmosphere flaring, and then the idea that we really do not believe that that's Earth there because it's the size can't be as huge as Jupiter so and then why wouldn't they go ahead and uh, mark it either okay and then because you, you can see the angle I mean why so low you know that's Jupiter up there they marked it okay and then we we'll just go to normal size here like 150 or something like that so can't really doubt that that is Earth there okay now, yeah, Earth is going to be closer because we basically go over to, and then this is the location for on the third. I brought up the third, and basically we know Earth is closer to the sun. The sun's in the well in the hole. They're not really marked here, but it's right directly in here. If you look over here to the right, uh, we've got the blow up on the left, of course. But see, this is the sun right there in the middle. And then this box here is emblematic as all this here, Jupiter. Okay, and Uranus and Neptune and stuff are not the other objects that are out the back either because what we're going to see is pay attention to, okay, that basically uh, A, A should be over this way, looking at the sun, which is right there in the center of the hole, which basically, i.e., that's your mark right there, that's the sun right there in the middle. And then this box is blown up here to show you where we've got our planets, okay? You won't be able to see Mercury and Venus because basically now yes you can see Venus and, and uh, normally because you'll see the map that you should be able to see from uh, what we have but with this being low and also knowing that when we're looking over at here Jupiter and Earth it's high here and uh, the angle so then somehow is this shooting upside down so uh, so very unusual and then just the idea that Earth should be way smaller than Jupiter you see way smaller even though if the atmosphere is flared up a bunch because of the CME action so you have very very interesting and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up something that I've that I seen a while ago and I made a video and it didn't come out very good and I didn't upload it because I'll show you some interesting look at something see now this could be Jupiter here that I caught at the end of the fifth here that I have there that could be Jupiter right there uh, but then again whatever's low you don't see in the picture right here right now so uh, and then let me give you a map and what's interesting, again, right now, we have blocking or something like that here on A. Okay, so whatever, something's going on with Venus and Mercury or something like that. And uh, also, I can take and give you that there. Shot from the head one. So, something there should be Mercury and Venus. So, uh, right now... Uh, from A ahead, Ace, they're shooting and getting some doggone good shots and taking a look at whatever this is, which I think is probably interesting to them too, because I don't think that that is uh, Earth. I don't believe that should be Earth. It shouldn't be that darn big. Uh, and up higher. And it should be smaller. So I'm thinking Earth's kind of like right there. I'm thinking where I'm pointing at. But, uh, Especially with what you see for a height here when you're looking at H12A. So, and then with the magneticals too, is up behind Jupiter, what the hell is this here planet here? 
because it's got magnetic oh, okay and we can, earth's clearly marked here and up behind earth and jupiter there should be nothing and then we have like the, the actual thousand percent fact that we've been finding objects and uh they're planets and basically there's more than one because you see a magnetical here you can follow that pretty much more than likely that planet right there whatever the heck it is it's got magneticals and it's in our solar system so and ie this one okay because when i come down and go right there's earth and jupiter so and like i say again i just don't see how they could get that much of a could be a possibility on an angle on the shot or something like that because it's closer but this here you know you know that this is a planet that we don't know because basically ie whammo there should be nothing up behind jupiter and earth because basically it's not uranus either okay shouldn't be all right because basically <laughs> it's all I'm gonna, I'll try to pull JPL up too, just to have you look and figure out there too when you're looking at it. And then this is the footage from the third. And uh, they also did some darkening too on the meatball leaving the picture here a while ago too. So it was just colorization uh, to try to make it look like it's just, you know, they're trying to put off that it's a gas ball. It's not a gas ball. So, and today huge here. Now, I'm not saying that this couldn't be, but the idea that I don't think that's Jupiter. Because basically what we've seen was the same shot when I'm looking at, uh, we basically here at H1A when we're over at uh, Lasco 3, I believe. Like, you know, that should be Jupiter there. So, and this is basically the same shot as what I'm giving you when I go to Navy. Okay. This is the same shot as uh, Navy here. So, and then it's not lower right; it's up high. So there's something huge there, also. And that's behind the sun. And then this is Lasco three from today. So, we're definitely getting a lot of interesting stuff. But since it's getting blocked and we don't see the, but basically the arm should be basically for the is there. And then you just turn this shot around, turn it upside down because. Basically, that turns you around, and this would be over here, you see, and then this would be up. So, definitely interesting there, and, uh, you know, that's huge, okay. So, kind of think it should be Jupiter. And if you remember how I showed you when they flipped the satellite that one day to look at Uranus and Mars and everything like that on the backside, behind the satellite when it flipped over like 180 degrees then you know for damn sure that these here are planets that are like no matter what it's like i mean come on what's supposed to be there out behind earth and so forth because this stuff's on the back side of the sun which the sun's on the back side of this shot because that's why these are illuminated here and the sun's back behind the satellite or behind the arm behind the panel solar panel so it's very interesting there now i got to show you when I end up on the 24th, it's this huge gamma ray from this here. And I ended up getting a map and looking at it. And it doesn't really matter because basically what you will see is I'll go, I think, forward here. And step. And then step. And as you see this, and then this, and then, yeah, I'll try to hit play. But first off, we'll zoom in on these stars that it comes from because basically it just goes blasto. We get a gamma ray or quasar or whatever. A ray of light from these star group right there all the way across so going forward I think yep we're going forward and then if I go back boom so and then we're back to it and then we zoom in we'll go 999 right off the bat and then we'll get a magnifier and go up on it and go right down that star cluster over to the right because basically that produced these here stars here produ per produced, and I'll try to hit play, but what was, let me go get back over here to the right real fast and zoom in on that with the zoomer. Remember, I can't point where the heck, but these, this is where it comes from, and then I'll pop back out and we'll hit play on it.
This is the stars that it came from. Okay, you can see those are stars. Try to pump in a little bit more here. Get that to go away. Take a little bit of a look here. There's some, there they are. That's where it came from, okay? Both stars there. I, I'm not pointing at them, I just can, can cruise around and look at it. Those are those stars that it came in off of. And then we out real fast. Boom, boom, boom. Pop down to like 125. And that did that there. And then so I'll step back a little bit. And then I guess we're going back there and back. So then we go forward. And wham of that happened from those stars over there, that light there. Wild energy. So I think it's playing pretty fast. And then uh, so there you go, whammo. So very interesting stuff and like I say once again basically uh, I think I can get back oh I was in that set you there but very interesting here of that being so large I really don't think it's earth especially when we knew before that you know earth was safe and was up here when we were getting an angle from the Sun you know pretty much directly out because the earth is directly in front of the Sun when you look at anything because uh, and so this is very interesting down here low we really don't know what the heck it is because whenever you're looking at it the Earth will be directly in front of the Sun from looking at the sketchy maps. I'll show you. I.e., the Earth is pretty much directly out in front all the time. You always have a. It's always a Y, you know. And then there's going to be. I'm trying to get in on finding out about trying to see if we can get anything on what's going on in that new satellite that's been put up. It's supposed to be, I think, above the Sun. It's supposed to be able to take a look. I mean, i.e. Earth being this high above the Sun pretty much okay or directly in line with the Sun see that's Earth right there and then when we're over at A okay directly in line with the Sun you see and it should be because of like even the uh, the Sechi map see it's supposed to be directly in line with the Sun pretty much uh, so in i.e. right here it is it's marked so we have a very conclusive that what the hell is below Jupiter on looking at this what the hell is this that shouldn't be the earth and it's pretty positively it ain't and it ain't even marked what the hell is it it's huge and ie what the hell is it because all this stuff is behind the Sun okay that's why you should be able to see this over at a on because when they show you the map okay when we show you uh, the map, the duh, you see, 